Hello, Snipe Trading here. Um, today is Wednesday, March 27th. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today I made a total of $360 uh, with trading two tickers, DHR and CPRX. Um, today was one of my biggest uh, winning day for this year. So my first trade that I did was DHR. So on the daily here, I was watching it um, at two, two key levels. I think it was this uh, 131 and uh, this 130.45 area. So I was looking at it um, in the morning, it popped up, it kind of fell to push through this uh, prior res resistance, support, prior support, it became resistance. So I was, I was picturing to be um, a cup and handle, inverted cup and handle and break uh, for continuation. But only caught part of that uh, move on the handle part and not this uh, uh, breakdown of the inverted cup and handle. So initially I went in because it broke this below this trend line or below this uh, support. So I went in short there um, and then I was going to take some off here because of the prior, because of uh, yesterday's low. So it was yesterday's low. So I should have taken some off there, um, but I uh, held through or um, yeah, so I held through, uh, I reshorted here thinking it would roll over from that bounce, um, but it continued to uh, trend up. Um, but my initial stop, uh, my final stop was this line here. So you can see you can connect these lines and it failed to go above, break above that trend line and act as uh, resistance. So that's where I um, became more aggressive and added more shorts there and here. And then when it failed to break uh, VWAP or hold VWAP and break below, uh, I went ahead and cover some there and cover some at low of day um, and pretty much covered the rest. Um, I think SPY had a little quick spike and that kind of scared me out and I stopped the rest. But uh, yeah, it continued down, uh, breaking down from the inverted cup and handle um, for the rest of the day. But um, that's that. And that was a $170 winner. Um, my next trade was CPRX. So CPRX, um, initially I, I did long here um, and short. So initially I saw this uh, flagging here. Uh, at the 556 so this was 556 resistance so I, I bought this breakout here uh, but it was a fake out so you can see a little wicks there and then you can see another wick here so every time I tried to break the above 556 it got sold back down and then it kind of fell and then my initial stop was below this trend line so I stopped out here for my long so long and then I stopped out there it's for $45 uh, for my long position and then I flipped short right after so I saw I retesting this trend line I shorted and then I added a little bit more and then the during this consolidation phase um, I think it broke down this trend line here so uh, if you connect uh, this this pivot point with the um, this low um, you had this trend line break here. So I was I I added more to my position short there um, So I had like 2,000 shares uh, short at that time and I took I took off uh, a few at VWAP and then a little bit off here um, And then uh, you can kind of see this was creating a bear flag um, So it's creating a bear flag here and then it broke back down. So I was kind of taking this measure move, um, added to here, and that was my price target. So I end up taking some off here and um, some off here at the 227 area. Um, and then my last one, I just took it off here because I saw this uh, little wick. So I saw it's kind of um, bouncing back. So that ended up being a pretty big trade, uh, $236 win for, on the short. So 
um, and then they end up kind of bouncing back. But um, yeah, so overall, it was a really good day for me, and um, hopefully, still everyone stayed safe because there was a lot of the follow through momentum from like D car, um, SXTC. So this, I couldn't find shares too short. Um, shit. So uh, I was shocked watching this. I actually uh, located 100 shares too short, but um, when it halted here, uh, I was, I, I almost, uh, I couldn't, I didn't pull the trigger, but I almost had 100 shares too short around the high, high 60s, high $6, um, but I didn't pull the trigger. Um, so, there's a lot of uh, fell follow through and a lot of uh, short squeezes uh, towards the end of the day. Um, I was also watching Kron here. So Kron uh, had this uh, nice flat consolidation, kind of fell off, fell to break, break down, and now it's breaking down this uh, prior pivot point here. So Kron, I'll probably be watching tomorrow to see if uh, it can go another leg down here towards the 16, 1625s. Um, so as always guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you have done so, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.